was lovely, eh? Oh, thank you for. These other blood are the stuff, but I I can't on boha very good. This is waiting for people to come on. Come on. <laughs> Do you just start talking? Eh? Kia ora whanai. Um Yeah, we're, uh, we're just out uh, today. Me and Rachel are out um, visiting Kaumatua. Uh, and, um, you know, we're just, uh, we're just um, when they say uh, you're looking after the old people and stuff like that, uh, sometimes all they want is somebody to go out to their place, sit down, and have a talk, have a cordial, um, because it's a lonely life. Lonely life, if you could imagine your life now, if you're young now, if you're young now and then you get older and then you can't do stuff and then make it even worse, you lose your partner, your partner, and um, now you're living on your own. So you imagine that if there's no family around you or nothing, you're living on your own, and you've got no one to talk to you and all that. That's the key ingredient for um, depression. Hey, it's the key ingredient for depression, stuff like that. So I'm hopping on here today. So I'm, I'm sitting at uh, Komatoa's place now. Um, one of our one of our kui, one of our kuiya, um, we're here with her now. I've been talking with her and I've hopped online just to talk some of her truths. And I've asked her if I can, and I'm no, I'm not going to name her, but I just want to talk about some of the stuff that she's telling me about, right? And she's sitting over here, um, our auntie, she's right here next to me, um, and I'm going to keep her anonymous. Hey, so anyway, here we go. Here's some truths from, I'm not going to say the horse's mouth, huh? I'm going to say, say from our beautiful, um, from our beautiful Komatua. And here's the truth about stuff. So why are our komatua, why are our komatua paying for medication? When, um, when um, there's so much free stuff out there for everybody in New Zealand, um, the government lets you like, they give stuff away and they let people have stuff and all this and they give out funding and all this bullshit. And I'm um, sorry, <laughs> I'm pretty angry. And um, to sit here and find out that um, our Komato are paying $35 for a prescription, hey, while they struggle to get through daily life, while they struggle to get kai, while they struggle to pay for the unreal prices. Because let me tell you, let me tell you, they pay the same power price that we do. Why do you people that um, have these, why do you people that um, have these multi-billion dollar business power companies charge our old people at the same rate, at the same rate as a normal uh, working person? Why are these things like this? Why is nobody questioning anybody about this sort of stuff? Eh? So not only that, why do we not have doctors that are specifically for our komatos that are trained to deal with old people, right? Not these, um, uh, what is it, these doctors that make our komatua feel like, because I just got told this by her, that she goes in to see the doctors and they make her feel un, what do you call it? like uneasy, you know, to talk about stuff. You know what I mean? So that means that those doctors are putting pressure on our on our komato. So I'm just on here to talk some truths about stuff and just put it out there and hopefully somebody knows somebody in these positions that can give us some answers. 
why are our kaumatua paying the same price for water as everybody else's? Listen to it. Just went offline and we came back on again. <laughs> so I'm doing this um, for a reason. And it's because I have to sit here. So we've come to sit with, uh, so me and Rach, we come to sit with our kaumatua and keep them company um, and have a talk because um, they're lonely and stuff like that. It's not think you're all greedy and I think you have no. So anyway, Fano, yep, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry it keeps going in and out, but I'm, I want people to share this thing, man. I'd like this to go real big because why? Just tell me why. Why are uh, our kaumatua put through all this rubbish, bro? And all you greedy businesses out there, why do you fellas poach on our old people? Like, for real. Um, and I, 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 hope, I hope to put this thing out even wider. Ask some questions about why are these old people, you know, they come from a time where um, they worked like standard issue, 12 hours of standard issue with these old people. And they work right through to the night. Bought us and made us who we are today. And here I am sitting with an old girl. Um, sorry, auntie. <laughs> well, uh, but here I am sitting with a kaumatua. Telling me that she's paying the same price for water. She's paying the same price for... F oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, rainwater too, eh? Yeah. Yeah, I'll tell you where she stays. But... Um, She's got um, spouting out here that um, that's old, that needs to be replaced and um, can't fill up her tank because the water's running off the side. So, um, to pose some questions and ask them and ask. I mean, it's hard enough just having to deal with um, their ails and their illnesses and all that stuff. And then to, to top it all off, hey, to top it all off, when it, when it's time for them to get uffy and get help, um, they don't get it. You know, when they ask about um, simple stuff like um, filling up a water tank, it costs so much that they can't even do that. So um, I, I, I'm just trying to be a voice for what I hear. And what I'm hearing right now is greed. Oh, I already got the answer, bro. It's greed. Is it, uh, when when is some businesses up here in the far north going to step up to the plate and say, okay, bro, we're the biggest water um, water provider up here. We provide water. We'll do um, Komatua for a cheaper rate. Hey, you know, or even pull your finger out of your butt, man, and give some for free. It's water, bro. How much are you paying for it? How much are you paying for your water? <laughs> so, yeah. That's what I got on here today for funny. I'm going to put some questions out there today and make people think and ask the question, why are we making money off our old people? And um, that's, my, that's my thing today. That's what I'm doing today. I'm sitting here today with um, one of our beautiful old ladies up here in the far north asking the question, man, when are you fellas that are running these businesses running the country, running the council, going to wake up and see it for what you are. You are absolutely greedy because um, when, our, when our old people start missing out on stuff because they can't afford it, then we all need to take a look at ourselves because you know why, bro? You can't run away from the fact that one day it's you. One day it's going to be you sitting in their shoes and don't think you're not because it's coming. That's what that's what the life is, hey, hey, auntie. That's what life is. One day you're gonna be in their shoes. How would you feel once you're in their shoes, knowing that you've got to pay exactly what a twenty-year-old pays today? Don't you think that there there should be a difference? And yeah, put your comments up there. Ah, oh, but they got a gold card, hey. She's got a gold card, bro. She's still paying thirty-five dollars for her, hey. So, yeah, put your answers up there. Oh, she got a gold card, da-da-da. Yeah, she got one. Don't mean nothing, bro. Still paying top dollar for everything. So, um, I'd love to be able to talk to um, 
these fellas that own these businesses up there, especially the essential stuff, eh? Water, eh, auntie? Water. Power. Power, eh? Um, those are the big ones, eh? Water, power, eh, auntie? Heating. Heating. Uh, wood. You know, it's stuff like that, man. I'd like to be able to sit down and um, look you in the eyebrow over the table and pose the question to you. How much more money do you want to take out of our old people's pockets, bro? Eh? And um, and sitting behind your desk saying, looking at profit margins and, and all this stuff, eh? I think you've made enough money out of all of us to at least give them a break. Okay? And um, also... The medication, their medication should be free, bro. They've already done over 60 years work in our in our country, paid taxes for 60 years, and they still got to pay for their... I, I, actually, if, I, auntie, I didn't even know that you were paying for your medication. Aroha, I didn't even know that. So today, this is a real talk today, and it's about um, our kaumatua and posing the question why. Why are they put through all this rubbish? Amen. You know, you think at the end of their long life and all that they've given to their whanau and all that they've done to set us up in our world, that they'd get a, a, a bit of an easier ride from us. Eh? And here I am sitting here with them, hearing the stories that they tell me, eh? you know. And um, also, you know, um, the services that are, and I never talk about any services. I never do, because um, I, I try not to. But when I sit here, and I hear, um, I hear a komato are saying, you know, they miss a, a doctor's appointment because um, their driver had to have a day off, and I don't blame the driver. Eh? I don't blame the driver that's supposed to do it. It's the system they're working under. Why are they missing out on stuff? You know, um, it takes so long to get a, a doctor's appointment up here, and if they miss one, you know, they, they I mean, some of the stuff they go into the doctors for is, is um, they really need to be there. So um, why? Why is all this stuff happening? That's the big question. Why? Why, finally? So that's all I wanted to do today was get on here and talk about why... Our, our kaumatua put through all this crap. You know, I'll keep it short and sweet, man, about that, and I'll keep it straight up and down. Why? Why? Please. So if anyone knows the people that run the water companies up here, uh, I don't know who it is, but um, I'd like to be able to sit down and, and have a talk with you, bro, and just say to you, bro, to your face, bro, what are you doing to help these old people, bro? Hey. Eh? Because they ring you up and they ask you to come and do their tanks and you've got no sweat to sit there with all your money that you've made off. What is it? Water? It's water, eh, bro? You didn't make that. You didn't, um, you didn't invent it. It, did, it wasn't made out of a machine. It's water, bro. It's an essential thing. And we have Komatua that are too, bro, that's like the stories I hear, too worried to flush the toilet, bro, because don't want to run out of, uh, out of, um, out of uh, out of water, man. They shouldn't be struggling, funny. They shouldn't be struggling. So anyway, I'm gonna go now before I get too angry. Oh, Nick, minute. But I just wanted to tell, I just wanted to tell the story of of who I'm sitting with today, who I'm having a cup of tea with today. I'm just telling their story, and it's not a good story. In New Zealand, Aotearoa, whatever you want to call yourself, whoever you want to be. But it's not a good story, man, where you got to sit here and listen to the truth, man. Yeah, when you listen to the truth, so I'm putting it out there, finally. Why? So let's get together, Power Board. Let's get together, um, hey, let's get together, Waterworks. Let's get together, Waterworks, bro. And let's have a talk about why. Why do you need to make so much money off our old people? Hey. And so before I go, just one more thing, just one more, one more thing. If you've got an old person living next door to you, go over there and sit with them, have a cup of tea. 
You know, if you know they're on their own, you don't have to do it every day, but how about one day? Just go and sit with them and have a cup of tea. You know, me, me and Rach, we're really busy. As you all know, we're really busy. Every day we're busy. We were supposed to come and visit her yesterday. She even made a cake for us, man. And, uh, <laughs> and we didn't come yesterday, but we came today to sit with her and to talk with her and keep her company and to have another voice in the house with her. That thing means more to her than all the money and gold you could give her in the bank, man. You know, that means more to her than anything else. So there you go, Fanu. Another big rant, but man, I love it. I love it, man, because maybe someone out there heard it and maybe we can change the stuff for our old people. So Waterworks, council, I don't know, whoever you are, blah, blah, blah. Get a hold of us, bro. Uh, the health sector, start training your doctors a bit better with our old people because um, the kaumatoa I'm sitting with is a little bit scared to talk about her own health. Because it sounds like the doctor's getting hoo with you. So yeah, there you go, Fanny. So everybody have a great day today. <laughs> everybody have a great day today. And please, share it out. This thing here means a lot to us. Share it out, please, Fanny. Just trying to help our co-mato and get some answers. Get some answers. And um, yeah, just look after each other, man. Everybody have a good day, Fanny. Gotta go. Mati wa.